A very good morning to everyone present here. We at Cottons proudly extend a hearty welcome to our second edition of Cotton Girls Model Parliament CG Empire 2021. Let us rise for the school song as we begin this event in the Cottonian tradition. When there is God's hand in it, all work becomes light. And today, we invoke His blessings for the fruitfulness of our program through the Bible reading by Mrs. Florence Sudha, followed by the opening prayer by Mr. Suhas Paul, Head of the History Department. Today's Bible reading is taken from the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 18 verses from 1 to 5. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus asking, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? So Jesus called a child and made him stand in front of them and said, I assure you that unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. The greatest in the kingdom of heaven is the one who humbles himself and becomes like this child. And whoever welcomes in my name one such child as this welcomes me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to thee, O God. Let's bow our heads and place ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Dear Lord, we stand before you in humble prayer before we start this event, Cotton Girls Model Parliament 2021, virtual two-day event. We realize that without your presence, we would not be able to succeed with the plans we have for this event. Bestow your grace, mercy, divine wisdom, guidance and blessings to all those who are taking part. Bless each model parliamentarian and every one of their family members. Lord, bless and help each one of us so we could cooperate Enjoy the team spirit, friendship, and love for the greater glory of your name. Bless everyone that each may be able to share what she or he has for your glory and honor. Lord, we also pray for our beloved principal, Dr. And Mrs. Lavanya Mitson, for all the support and encouragement she has extended towards organizing this event. Bless a family abundantly. Lord, we pray for our vice principal, and all members of the Board of Management for their great extended support. We especially seek your blessings on the teachers and students who are working hard to organize this virtual event in these difficult times. Be with them, guide them in every decision they take. Lord, bless each and every one who contributed towards organizing this event. Bless this event so that we can enjoy and appreciate its significance in our lives. Lord, may all the activities related to this event be a success through your intervention. We ask all these in your holy name. Amen. Dr. Wayne Dyer rightly said, Be the light that helps others see. Our principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mitrin, will now inaugurate this ceremony with the lighting of the lamp, signifying the hope that CG Empire bears of lighting the path of students towards democratic awareness. Smart and confident, 
She leads the school with efficiency. We now have Harnoor Bali, our school captain, with her welcome speech. The young people of India will build a strong and powerful nation. A nation that is politically mature and economically strong. A nation whose people enjoy both a high quality of life as well as justice. Pranab Mukherjee. A very good morning to our chief guest for today, Mr. Stephen David, our respected principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mitran, our vice principal, Mrs. Preeti Subhash, and to all the participants. We warmly welcome you all to the second edition of the nationwide Cotton Girls Model Parliament, CG Empower 2021. As captain of the school, I feel privileged to be welcoming you all to this sensational simulation of the Indian Parliament, where issues of national interest are given paramount importance. This event provides a platform for students to actively participate in the policy-making process, while also expressing their valid views and thoughts about the need for new and effective bills and policies. We proudly present to you CG Empower, which encourages the youth of our nation to have fruitful discussions about current issues and crisis-solving strategies to uphold the democratic nature of our country. By involving the youth of our country in such simulations, we make them politically conscious and aware of their responsibilities. We, the students, are the future, and we have the opportunity to make amendments, voice out opinions, and make the world a better place. It is truly an honor to be associated with such a motivating event where we are given the chance to safeguard the democratic process of our country. We wish all the participants the best of luck and hope that these discussions inspire you all to make changes in society and defend what you stand for while also considering the people of this country whom you represent. We are certain that all of you can be successful parliamentarians and leaders as you exercise your civic duties. I am sure that you will have a great time throughout this event as you indulge in formal conversations about matters that frame the laws of our nation. And we truly prove that democracy is the government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Thank you and all the best. Our principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mitran, who has been our greatest source of encouragement, will now address the audience on this memorable occasion. She will also introduce our chief guest, Mr. Stephen David, an eminent writer, award-winning public intellectual, and silver orator. Our chief guest will then express his thoughts on the second edition of CG Empire. A very good morning to one and all. A warm welcome to all of you who are participating in the second edition of CG Empire 2021 hosted by Bishop Cotton Girls School. I deem it an honor and privilege to welcome our chief guest for the inaugural ceremony, Mr. Stephen David, the delegates, the teachers in charge and the parents who are watching this event virtually. We are delighted to have in our midst Mr. Stephen David, an award-winning public intellectual and eminent writer who has held leadership positions in the fields of media, academia and public leadership institutions. He was Bureau Chief of India today for nearly 15 years. David is Founder Chairman of Public Policy Leadership Strategy Center, CCA Leadership, and has delivered lectures across the globe, including Oxford, London, Washington, DC, New York, Chicago, Singapore, Philippines, and Australia. He continues to engage regularly with public leaders through various interactive fora. Thank you, Mr. David for your esteemed presence and I am sure you will be impressed by our initiative for the CG Empire 2021. I am sure the delegates will be enriched with knowledge by listening to your thoughts. Martin Luther King, an American Baptist minister and activist who became the most visible spokesperson and leader in the civil rights movement and 
he is remembered for his powerful speech i have a dream that rings louder today than when he was alive all of us are born with a sense of right and wrong i hope all the delegates agree with this and i am sure you are all hardwired to detect injustice so much so that as soon as you sense injustice the alarm bells in you will start ringing in such situations you can either choose to ignore the situation fight it or to be passive sufferers martin luther king junior said and i quote injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere unquote student delegates i am sure you are more than excited to be part of this event to all the future leaders do not be silent spectators whenever you see injustice do not be quiet fight for justice delegates may this competition be another platform to showcase your talents and also a learning experience to all of you india is a developing country and the future is in your minds and hands i thank the entire team of cg empower 2021 for their untiring effort in making this event a grand success model parliamentarians i wish you all the best as you take part in this virtual event let the best team win god bless thank you next dextrorsum next sinistrorsum it gives me great pleasure to stand here and deliver the chief guest address for the 27th and 20th august model parliament hosted by bishop cotton girls school in bangalore i'm especially grateful for the principal dr lavanya mitran for this opportunity given to me uh, to share some thoughts on a issue that's very current and very interesting especially for the demographic dividend the youth that comprises nearly 65% of this country the word parliament evokes different kinds of pictures for some it could be the unruly commotion that we sometimes watch on television in the houses of parliament but some it may evoke pictures of the great winston churchill delivering his wonderful address for some it could be even the the first prime minister of india jawaharlal nehru delivering this famous tryst with destiny i give these two pictures to tell you that the role of parliament the body which makes laws is very important to a country like india as parliament members budding political leaders in the next two days you will be getting into the nitty gritty of how to make laws how to run the houses smoothly how to look at laws that will ultimately build the nation at the end of the day all that is required is the two great foundations on which any country can progress the foundation of truth and the foundation of righteousness more than 3000 years ago a famous philosopher king solomon said righteousness exalteth a nation what he really meant was righteousness which means right living is what can build a nation and the concept of righteousness the concept of truth is built within the walls of a house that builds the nation and that house is what we call parliament or sansad bhavan and when we get into the sansad bhavan or the temple of democracy we need to walk in with our heads bowed and with our hopes very high this is a country that requires the strength the inputs from young leaders like you we live in a country where the average age of the members of the rajya sabha is over 
and the average age of members in the Lok Sabha today is around 58. But the average age of an Indian youth is 43. We're talking about a country of 1.3 billion with more than 65% of youngsters. It only tells me that the future of India is very, very bright. With model parliaments like this, we believe this nation will prepare leaders to get into this field of politics, which is now sometimes a bad word, but politics and statesmanship are meant to be good words, words that will build a nation. I'd like to leave three letters, A, B, C, in conclusion as a takeaway from my talk. The first is A, which is acquaint yourself with the democratic processes. Learn as much as you can by watching excellent parliamentarians speaking. Learn as much as you can about the processes that have worked well over the years, over the centuries, and imbibe those successful leadership practices as you debate, as you conduct your businesses in the model parliament. And the second is to build bridges. Sometimes we find unruly mobs rushing into the well of the house because they don't agree with somebody. It doesn't mean opposition need to be always volatile or tumultuous or troublesome. You can always agree to disagree in a very civil manner. The earlier you learn to agree to disagree and to put forth your points of view to the other side, to stand up and speak boldly, clearly, lucidly is an art that you would love to learn and models of parliaments like this are a great place to hone those skills. Acquaint yourself, build bridges. And thirdly, the C is connecting with what we call the constitution, which is the Bible for running any democratic nation, any concept of a freedom, any nation that wants to stand on great pillars, great foundations of truth and righteousness has its own constitution. The constitution has all the rules and all the conditions that can help a country grow well. It's the manual that you require to be well rehearsed, well prepared so that when you conduct a business in the model of parliament, everything will go smoothly. Ultimately, as I said, it's the ABC that will build this country together, acquainting yourself, building bridges, and connecting with the constitution. Once again, I'm very happy to share these few thoughts with you, uh, thoughts that I'm sure will encourage you to be better parliamentarians, and I also wish the school uh, hosting it, my best wishes, I com congratulate them for taking the initiative. We know we live in a world which is challenging today. It's a hybrid model world. I'm delivering this talk virtually. But in the real world, as you step out it in the real world, uh, it's not going to be just virtual, but you will deal with real flesh and blood challenges. I wish my best wishes for you. Uh, and wish you best in the next two days as you deliberate, as you debate, as you c become lawmakers. I uh, wish all the best. Uh, and this country needs young people like you to build this nation. And may you prosper in all that you do. Uh, once again, my congratulations, my best wishes to this model parliament hosted by Bishop Cotton Girls School. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your words of wisdom and your enthusiasm in helping us take this event to greater heights. And thank you so much, sir, for your inspiring talk, especially the encompassing acquaintance with the ABC of democracy. I am sure that your experienced advice has kindled in us an eagerness to prove our place in this diverse nation. Dedicated, hardworking, and capable of taking every weight on her shoulders, Prithvi Prabhu, the head of CG Empire 2021 will now provide us a preview of this event. Democracy is based upon the conviction that there are extraordinary possibilities in ordinary people. Harry Emerson Fostick. A very good morning to our chief guest, Mr. Stephen David, our principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mitrin, 
our vice principal, Mrs. Preeti Subhash, our teachers and staff, my fellow Cotonians and eager participants. As the head of today's event, it is my honor and privilege to welcome you all to the second edition of the national level Cotton Girls Model Parliament, CG Empire 2021. We are delighted to have you here with us today, partaking in what is sure to be an enlightening experience for all aspiring journalists, activists, and policymakers. CG Empire is a live simulation of the Indian Parliament, offering a platform for the leaders of tomorrow to hone their understanding of the lawmaking body of our country and actively engage in constructive dialogue and discourse. The mission of CG Empire is not only to encourage appreciation for the democratic process in our youth, but also to build their trust in our legislature. It is to build faith in the pillars of democracy, to demonstrate to students firsthand that positive change can come from having well-reasoned debates with our fellow citizens about relevant national issues. It is to show students that we have a place in this great democracy, that we are in fact its flag bearers and greatest defenders. The core tenet of democracy is best expressed by this famous anecdote. The story goes that one day, Benjamin Franklin, one of the fathers of modern democracy, was approached by a woman on the street. Knowing him to be one of the drafters of the brand new constitution, she asked, Mr. Franklin, what manner of government have you bequeathed us? Franklin replied, a republic, madam, if you can keep it. Those words cannot ring more true for the buoyant, hopeful, striving youth of today's India. We, the inheritors of the world's largest democracy, have a responsibility towards this great republic. The onus is on us to defend the democratic ideals enshrined in our constitution. It is our duty to stand up for what we believe in, to stand against any threat to justice, to be prudent in our efforts for a better future, to question and interrogate and hold our leaders accountable for the decisions they make for our people. It is our republic and we have to keep it. It was Rabindranath Tagore, Nobel laureate and national poet of India who said, you can't cross the sea merely by standing and staring at the water. Likewise, we cannot expect great transformations in our country to be realized without taking on the reins of change for our own sakes. We cannot express progress, liberty and equality to bloom in our nation without first planting the seeds ourselves. I wish all the participants the very best of luck as we now look forward to the lively, illuminating discussions that will surely take place over the course of the next two days, showcasing the acumen and caliber of India's blazing youth parliamentarians. With courage and conviction, carry on the spirit of democracy. Thank you. Nick Dextrawson, next in Strawson. That was Prithvi, head of the second national level edition of CG Empire 2021, sharing her insight and also boosting our morale through her wonderful speech. Words are not the only way to convey the mind's stance. Our country's vibrance will now be expressed through the art of dance. Get that. 
That was an excellent performance. Thank you, girls. Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mitran, our dear principal, will now declare the commencement of the second edition of Cotton Girls Model Parliament. I declare the second edition of CGMPAR 2022-23. 
2021 open. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. will remain eternally grateful to Jawaharlal Nehru for his vision and insistence that the social and economic transformation of India had to take place in the framework of an open society. The fifth and Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel's chair. Patel was the unifier of India. He once said, it is the prime responsibility of every citizen to feel that this country is free. And to defend its freedom is its duty. In the past, they have said that the government is also going to be in the past. The people of the country are going to be in the past. The people of the country will be in the past. The people of the country will be in the past. The people of the country will be in the past. Where will the people of the country come from? Where will the people of the country come from? A poor man will think that my small house is a small world. I will learn to learn from the world. I will learn from the world. I will learn from the world. What protected India at that point? Let me tell you, the informal economy of India protected India at that point. The money that people had kept in their houses protected India at that point. You have taken. Remember that signal and fight it, we must. And be clear, it is a signal for the entire free press of India. Conducted by Bishop Cotton Girls School Open. Wish you all the best. In this audience, I'm sure there are Hindus, Muslims, Christians, Sikhs, Buddhists. At the end of the day, you are all Indians. 